bruv, you are having a bubble. Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another FIFA 14 squads video. Now this one will include players from the deadline transfer day like Gareth Bale, Liverpool's new centre-back Sacco and also Mesut Ozil apparently signing for Arsenal as we speak, which is absolutely amazing. So these squads will be great, but if you are looking to buy some very, very cheap ultimate team coins, check out futcoinemporium.com. All their links will be down in the description below, of course. If you missed the previous video, that will be also be in the description below. And if you can get this video to 500 likes before 10 p.m i'll upload another one tonight but anyway before we do start let me know your thoughts on this year's deadline transfer window is your team signing anyone good leave a comment in the comment section below what do you think of bail to madrid absolutely crazy price obviously going for more than cristiano ronaldo but the first team does include gareth bale and the first thing you're going to see is that he's a striker and there's been a couple of screenshots where Bale is default centre forward as an 87 rated player. Now, I think he could be a centre forward because he did play there for Tottenham for some part of the season last year. And, you know, Ronaldo being left wing and Bale being left wing, that could clash a bit. But in my opinion, I think, you know, either one of them will play left wing or right wing. I'm not sure if Bale will stay as a centre forward. This is just going basing it off the screenshots, if you know what I mean. So if he is a centre forward, this could be a possible team you could make. And Jesus, just imagine that. Isco at Cam 2, I've upgraded him by quite a bit to 84. And he definitely deserves that. Great passing. He's even scored quite a few goals from Madrid this season. Three, I believe, in the league already, which is outstanding. That's more than Ronaldo. Not saying he's Ronaldo or anything but he is a class class player also Kadira CDM linking up nicely there Fernando the other CDM apparently on his way to Everton this transfer deadline day so we'll have to see if he moves or not but he's a class CDM for Porto and a great CDM in this game and that's why I've included him there and you know if he's not at Porto next season you can just replace him with another Porto centre defensive mid of course Mangala another class centre back obviously a young talent and great fast strong everything in him Danilo there just to link up basically I'm not, I don't really see much of him, but he is a decent right back on FIFA, I guess. Lloris in goal, downgraded him to 84. He's 84 in the head-to-head -head update, I think. So, you know, I think he'll be around that. Still great stats on him, no matter what. So, yeah, Lloris will be a great keeper next season. Sacco, newly signed for Liverpool, of course. Very pacey indeed. Great, strong in the air. And it's definitely a great signing for them, obviously beating Manchester United yesterday without Luis Suarez. So, it'll be interesting to see where Liverpool finish this year, of course. But yeah, Sissoko, his new Liverpool teammate, also on loan from Valencia French, so he'll be getting that strong chemistry link with him and that completes the team pretty much Calvin at right mid I think he'll stay a silver didn't play too much for Porto although he looks like a great player will probably keep them five star skills too but that will be a class team so expensive obviously but you know it's that idea of teams you can make Isco I can't wait to use him will definitely be four star skill moves and apparently four star skills are class next year they've included a few new skills which is awesome to see but we're going to move on now to the second team and that includes Arsenal's new transfer Meza Urza while it's not completely confirmed yet but it's gonna happen i reckon he's in london now having his medical and whatnot so yeah him oh my god i just can't believe arsenal have signed him he is probably one of the best playmakers in the world and it's so surprising to see real madrid selling him and he'll get that strong link with Podolski, who will be a left wing next season, of course. And linking up with them, we do have their Arsenal teammate, Mikel Arteta. And I've upgraded him to 82. His passing has gone up slightly and is defending because he's moved into a deeper role, you could say. And let's look at Ozil now. He's 87 rated in FIFA 13 currently. I've kept him the same rating. Um, I've upgraded his passing to 88 from 85. I believe his passing is outstanding. He gets so many assists. And I'm sure most of you will agree with me that. And if you don't, you know, leave a comment saying what you think Ozil's passing should be. I mean, if Iniesta has around 91 passing, why shouldn't Ozil have something closer to that? But anyway, Paulinho, who is another transferred player who moved to Tottenham Hotspur earlier in the summer. But the main striker of this team is Lewandowski, of course, and 86 rated. He'll definitely be around that. Um, YouTubers who have played the game earlier, Gamescom and whatnot, have said this guy is so overpowered. He has four-star skill moves. He has 86 heading, great strength, great pace, great shooting. So will definitely be an expensive player next year. But linking up with him, we do have his obviously a Dortmund teammate and his Poland teammate. Blasikowski of course or Kuba for short as they like to call him and I've upgraded him to 81 93 pace had a decent season for Dortmund and yeah them two together will just be ridiculous Ney at right back I think he'll stay around as a silver playing for Vasco now same as Dede and you're looking at Dede and thinking 68 pace what are you doing mate but his pace in head to head you know in the recent head to head update a few weeks ago has gone down to 68 which is crazy from 81 to 68 I don't know what's going on there he's 25 
Still a pretty young centre back, so I'm not sure why his pace has dropped that low. Maybe he's not too fast in real life. I don't see Dede play too much, so you know I'm not going to be judging him off FIFA or anything. Uh, you know because that would be stupid, obviously. We've got Diego Alves in goal, and if you've seen him last night, conceded three against Messi pretty early on, but made some outstanding saves. Messi really should have had about six goals, but he made some class saves and will be a great goalkeeper next year, as he is this year. Sergio Ramos, 87 rated, will say the same I think with 80 pace. And to finish the team off, we do have Jordi Alba. But that is the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy it please go ahead and drop a like leave a comment suggesting players for the next video and i shall see you soon take care